New York, 1976. A city on the verge of total collapse, but also a city intent on fostering the next big thing in music. Something to be enjoyed by birthday boys and girls the world over. Back in those days, everyone was having birthdays. I remember going down to parties in Soho, shooting on up to Harlem for another one. There was a real birthday energy in the air. Everyone was sort of aware that I know I was. Look, we all wanted to write the hit birthday song. I remember going up to CBGB's and, you know, act after act would be playing their version of the birthday tune. You know, we were just kids throwing everything at the wall, just mm -hmm. hoping something would stick. We never thought anything would come of it. It was birthday season, so we were writing birthday songs. If it had been Thanksgiving, we would have written Thanksgiving songs, but. I remember DJing a set at the Disco Fever, right? And I remember asking the crowd, yo, whose birthday is it tonight? And all I got back was a deafening scream. It was everyone's birthday that night. <laughs> The music industry was going through a lot at the time. Record sales were down, uh, people weren't listening to the radio. So I think that a lot of people were just trying to create a hip birthday song that uh, people would want to listen to. The culture was moving in a direction that was undeniably birthday. I remember hearing different birthday songs and being simultaneously inspired and discouraged because I thought I'd never be able to write something as good. I mean, I had stacks and stacks of notebooks filled to the brim with birthday songs. I mean, oh, let me see here. Uh, happy birthday, my good friend. Uh, to you, I wish a happy birthday. Where was I when happy birthday to you came out? I'll never forget. <laughs> I was eating breakfast. I think anyone in the New York City birthday music scene could tell you where they were when they heard happy birthday to you for the first time. That day I called my I called the promoter at CBGB to cancel my own gig and I mean luck would have it, he was calling me at the same time. We met in the middle. And <laughs> he's like, buddy, I'm calling to cancel you. So I was toast. Of all the birthday songs I wrote, I can't believe. I never came up with happy birthday to you. There's just something so seductively simple about it, you know? It's like within a week, the entire country had it memorized. I remember having friends who would lie about it being their birthday just so they could have that song sung to them. Hello, we were all there at your birthday party last month, Gene. Did that the birthday music scene kind of went to hell. In many ways, it was the end of an era. I mean, all my friends in the music industry started packing up and moving on. So I put it all behind me. We had absolutely no idea that we would end up writing a hit song. When we wrote HB, we were upstate. We used to rent out this little inn in the Adirondacks and it was the innkeeper's birthday. And do you remember we were at breakfast? <sighs> Patty started humming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then like some kind of sisterly bond Mildred started singing the words, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Do you feel that? That is what it felt like that day. When Patty and Mildred came to me with happy birthday to you, I knew that it would be a defining moment for me as a producer. I remember going to record stores and just seeing a line you know, around the block. And we all knew why without asking, because every asshole would be wearing a birthday hat. There were so many ripoffs. I mean, ripoffs, covers, and merchandise. I mean, it was really quite a circus. They would bring these icing guns and ask us to ice their birthday cake. You know, I think the song just really connected with a lot of people. For the longest time, when it was someone's birthday, you just had no idea what to do. You know, I remember growing up in the Bronx, when it was someone's birthday, you just threw an egg at them. Kind of strange, but it's true. You know, I will admit, as envious as I was of the Hill Sisters, <laughs> I'm sure as shit glad that I don't have to get eggs thrown at me anymore. Have I heard the plagiarism accusations? Yeah. Do I believe them? Well. As the story goes, while the sisters were upstate, 
they heard this Borscht Belt polka band playing happy birthday to you and being the white women that they were. They took that song back to the city. We were doing a show at uh, some uh, Borscht Belt place and they were there that night. We saw them there. Uh, we were playing happy birthday to you. And then what do you know a week later we hear our song playing on the radio. It's a top 40 hit. Fuck the Hill Sisters. <sighs> Give me a break. If the three zeros wrote a song as ubiquitous as happy birthday, then why weren't they able to make it a success? I just don't buy it. Mm -hmm. 